your kids love technology, but you would like to stimulate their interest beyond games and YouTube videos this summer, we have just the answer. <laughs> technology <laughs> consultant Francie Black is here to talk about a do-it-yourself tech kit for kids. And Francie, thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Yeah, so if your kids look like this this summer, mm -hmm. <laughs> and they're watching too much do, uh, computer games and Facebook, a little bit of everything YouTube. is what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want them to, and they're interested in science and technology, computer technology, I have two do-it-yourself kits. Okay. That they can help them these learn. These look very cool. Yeah. So they're really neat. So what these are designed to do is to help kids learn um, computer electronics, mm -hmm. um, sensors, and programming. Okay. And they can do it themselves. So this first one that we're going to look at is um, it's called M Cookie. And what it is, it's a set of boards. This is Arduino based for anybody who's familiar with Arduino. And you can build whatever you want and use these sensors and technology to bring that to life. Very so, neat. So for example, here's an example of a kit, or I shouldn't say a kit, you can use your own Legos, build a birthday cake, put together these modules following their instructions. And when somebody presses the buzzer on your Lego cake, it will sing or play happy birthday. Let's see if we can get it to do it. Oh, I think I lost my power here. Oh, ah, my power's not on. That's my power source. Can there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, can you hear it? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think the folks at home Is, can I don't hear know it. if they can hear it on my yeah. mic or not. Okay, so that's just one example right. of things that you can do. So you can bring any of your objects to life via these types of components. Okay. And so it comes with a set of project and examples that you can do. You do use your own Legos, but these are all the electronics that come with it and they give you the code. This is pretty advanced stuff, or it feels like some pretty advanced yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is, I would say, middle school age and above, and okay. you probably need parent supervision for this one. All right. But online, at their site, at the Microduino site, they have a whole discovery section. So Which it, will show you how to do it. So you how to do all kinds of projects that people have done. But again, these are, you know, it's what you want your kids to learn in our world today. Right. It's, these are really valuable skills. Right. Okay, so the next one is this really cool robot, and I love him. <laughs> and this is called Mbot, okay, and it's by a company called MakeBlock. And um, this is a little bit different than this one, this, than the first one we looked at. So this comes as a kit to build the robot. Building the robot is actually not very difficult, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on your skill level. But on its board, you can see that this one has all of the sensors already on its Arduino board. Oh, okay. okay. And you right out, after you assemble it, you can actually drive it and remote control it with your smartphone. This is fun. This is really fun. Then you can take it to the next step, which is really where you want to head, which is up here, that to learn how to program it in something that's called Scratch. This is based from MIT, and it's a visual, very popular drag and drop programming language to help you get started to learn how to program and help this robot do all kinds of different obstacles, follow lines, turn around, chase yeah. dogs and cats. We were just talking in the commercial break, this is a great thing for kids to do this summer. It has, it incorporates all that STEM curriculum that you're looking for, and it really prevents brain drain, right? That is the exact purpose of these types of things. So much so that I'm actually hosting a camp, and we're gonna be building this robot, and we are gonna learn how to program it, what all the components are, how they work together, and um, we're gonna be doing some other projects too. If you're interested in that, my camp is actually already full, Okay. However, <laughs> if you're interested, I have a wait list started. Um, email me at the info at iPad Wisdom, and I'll put you on the wait list. We might add an additional session. Okay. So be sure and uh, uh, let me know about that. Info at iPadWisdom.com, and then don't forget you can also subscribe to my monthly tech tips newsletter. Thanks, Francie. And as she just mentioned, if you want to learn more about the apps Francie showcased or the technology she showcased today, you can visit WLOS.com and click on Tech Time, and that's where you can sign up for your free newsletter. Yep. Ingrid?